So another quick tip video, this time about creating ratcheting and micro timing with the phaser sequencers from Hetrick CV. I have already a patch from scratch video with some of the modules in this collection where I also show how they work, how phasers work. And if you want to dig deeper, I have also a full tutorial video where I go through each of the modules. This is on my Patreon together with many more videos and content. So here I have a simple 16 step sequence with the phrase or phase driven sequencer, key call from Befaco. I have also delay, but for now the mix is all the way down. It will sound like this. Right, and let's say that I want to have ratcheting on step number seven. So on step number seven, we need more resolution. We need more steps within step seven. For this, we can use another module in this collection. This is the phaser to gates, the 32. Right, I'm going to use the same phaser signal to drive it. Right, and since we have 16 steps, I'm going to set here also 16 steps instead of 32. And now both sequences, as you can see, are perfectly in sync. Right, they are uh, running with the same phaser signal, so they are perfectly in sync. Step one will be the same step one on both sequences. Right, now again, I want this only on step seven for now. So I will activate step seven on the second sequencer. And have a look, they have the phaser gate sequencers, have also the phasers output. Have a look what happens on step number seven. Right, each time the sequence reaches step number seven, right, we get a whole phaser signal, a ramp going up in the duration or the duration of just step number seven. Right, and this we can use to drive yet another sequencer. So in this case, it will be the eight step one. Right, and I will use the phasers output as the clock or as the phase signal for this eight step sequence. Right, so now instead of having only one step on step seven, we increase the resolution and we have eight steps within this step. Right, now we want to combine those two uh, uh, sequences so they both will trigger kick all. So for this, I will use logic. There are many ways you can do this, um, but if you use all logic, it's basically like combining the triggers into one stream. So I will take the main sequence, go to the logic, and then from the all output, this will go back to kick all, right? So now we get the same result, but now I can combine it with the second here, with the second sequence that will give us ratcheting and micro timing. So for ratcheting, we have to enter multiple steps, something like this, for example. Right, and you can get all sorts, all sorts of effects. Again, now step seven is actually eight different steps. Right, and we can get ratcheting and we can also get micro timing if we use, for example, just one step. Right, you hear this step is now a bit late. Instead of being on the one of step seven, it's a bit later, but not quite on step number eight. Right, I can do this for more steps, for example, let's say step 12. And get something a bit more wonky. I will add a delay to this. Right, and this will of course work also great with percussive voices. So what I have here, I have the two operator cares module also from the same collection as a noise source with a nice band pass filter and a nice snappy envelope, right? This will be a sort of a hi-hat. I have here one sequence that will generate the main steady sequence, right? And then I'm splitting this basically into two with two different sequencers. One will have ratcheting, the other one will have sort of a micro timing, combining everything together into one stream to trigger the hi-hat. It will sound like this. if I solve this for a second. Right here we have micro timing on two steps. Here we have ratcheting. 
right? So you can hear the nice movement to get here and you can explore this in all sorts of different ways. And there's a lot to experiment here. Let me know if you find something interesting. Thank you for watching. Cheers.